Let's learn English through a Dukkha tune with teacher Aya. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Do you ever feel confused when you're trying to figure out the right verb to use in a sentence? Don't worry, it's not as difficult as you might think. Let me show you one of the most important subject verb agreement rules. When you have two subjects connected by OR or NOR, the verb you use should agree with the subject that's closest to it. Let me show you an example. Either the dog or the cat is are hiding under the bed. So, should we use is or are in this sentence? Remember, we need to pick the verb that agrees with the subject closest to it. In this case, the subject closest to the verb is cat which is singular. That means we should use singular verb is. Either the dog or the cat is hiding under the bed. Let's try another one. Neither my mom nor my siblings attend, attends the meeting. Should we use attend or attends in this sentence? The subject closest to the verb is my siblings, which is plural. That means we should use the plural verb attend. Neither my mom nor my siblings attend the meeting. What about this? Neither the books nor the pen belong belongs to me. What do you think is the correct verb to use? Let's analyze the sentence. What is the subject closest to the verb? Books or pen? Right, pen. It is singular, so we should use singular verb belongs. Neither the books nor the pen belongs to me. See, it's not so difficult. Just remember to pay attention to the subject closest to the verb when you have subjects joined by OR or NOR. Now, it's your turn to practice. What should be the correct verb to use in the following sentence? Write your answer in your notebook and hand it to your English teacher for checking. 1. Neither the rain nor the thunder bother bothers me. 2. Either the movie or the concert start starts at 8 p.m. Three, neither the teacher nor the students want, wants to dance today. Number four, neither the car nor the bus is, are available for transportation.
And number five, either the boys or the girls is are going to win the race. Well done, kiddos! Congratulations for completing this lesson. See you again next time!